you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing really good. Okay. Well, the the man of the hour. How are you feeling? I am feeling great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Honestly, very excited to talk to you because we posted. I mean, our young Hollywood is obsessed with Euphoria, like as is the world. And we post and everyone is just asking to talk to you, talk to you, talk to you. So it's a great day. So you're here. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. This is going to be fun. Super Where are fun. you right now? Uh, I'm in Atlanta. That's home base for me, you know, so that's, oh that's where I'm at. Do you get to come out? How often are you like on the West Coast or are you in New York City a lot? Where do you? You know, sometimes I'm in New York. I'm usually in the West Coast, but um, right now I'm in school not doing much I'm, I'm chilling you know like things in the works but right now I'm chilling right now yeah okay do you go to in school in person I do now for the longest I didn't which you know yeah. I was happy about but going back to school is a really interesting change and I'm not the biggest fan of it. <laughs> you're right it is. so how do you find time for do you do boxing after school do you do workouts before school right so how I find time for boxing um I have to get up at like six in the morning for school. So I can't do it before school. I yeah. do my day at school and I come back home and you know how everybody has their sport that they do. So somebody loves school sports. Right. I go home and I box because I have like a gym in my basement. Like that's, that's like my spot. So I got uh, workouts usually like right after school, about like three hours long. Sometimes I hit cardio. Sometimes I just hit boxing, you know, strength and conditioning stuff, all, all different kinds of stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was going to say how long you three hours, like the minimum about, about three hours. Yeah. Sometimes it's like two to three hours. Yeah. But you but love them. They're pretty. I love boxing. It's like my favorite thing in the world. And I'm prepping pretty soon for, you know, like um, nationals and all that. Yeah. Cause in your Instagram bio, it's soon to be world or like one day world champ. So you're, you want boxing. That's the goal. Life. That's what I really want. You know, I want to continue my acting career, but I also want to yeah. excel at a very high level in boxing. That's been my goal since God, since I was very little when I started and I yeah. want to continue that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, so aside from boxing, of course, we have the acting side of you. So how did you audition for Euphoria? When did you find out and what was your reaction? All right, so I was on the Steve Harvey show for boxing. Yeah. Uh, this casting director named Jennifer Vendetti, she saw me on um, Steve Harvey and she was like, hey, have you ever acted before? And I was like, no. No, it's not even something that crossed my mind, right? right? So I ended up trying out for Euphoria because she um, was wondering if I wanted to try out for it. I tried out for it and I got the gig immediately. And I was one of the only kids that were like saying the drug names, right? Because some like you saw the first episode, like it was like complicated names, like the yeah. NDS pro pill, the five methoxy, all that stuff, right? So yeah. they loved my look and, and they loved that, you know, I was smaller, but I was yeah. like, I was gangster. Oh, with it. Yeah. 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 I was gangster with it. And that's, that's really like how it started. That's crazy. And so what did you feel when you are, you got on set in like the first day, a couple of days of filming, were you nervous? Were you like just excited? What were you feeling? I wouldn't say I was nervous. It was really interesting because it was my first time ever acting right and yes. my very first scene was me saying all those big drug names and it was with Zendaya so it was really tough because I was just thrown into it we didn't even rehearse it he was like all right let's, let's get ready to go and I ended up doing it immediately and it ended up you know the way it the way it did so I was, yeah. all, I was happy with it not a bad like first kind of like run at acting and being no on like, the biggest no show doubt. in the world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, pretty, pretty good run. Pretty good run for sure. How do you feel reading the comments about, you know, having literally millions and millions of fans? Honestly, I'm just blessed with the fan base I have. Yeah. You know, some of y'all got me banned on TikTok, which is fine. I, I got, literally I got went to look you up and it was like banned. And I was like, what I know, did you I was do? I like, so upset about that. And then people were making fake accounts of me and pretending yeah. to be me. And it was like, it was this whole thing, right? Um, I'm just glad I got my account back. But my fan base, they're all super, super sweet. Y'all are all amazing. And I really appreciate y'all. Yeah. And I'm blessed with how everything has turned out. Because I've been working for a long time on Instagram yeah. for my following, right? I've been doing Instagram since I was about seven years old. Um, yeah as far as boxing and all that so really just it feels great like my hard work is like finally paying off totally is there any comment that you've read about your character or just your personal life that has stuck with you where you're like wow like like maybe like okay or like you're like why does somebody think that about me okay I can I gotta why does somebody think that about me um they thought <laughs> I was Nate's brother for the longest and people were making rumors about that and I was like 
how would that make sense? But people got some really interesting rumors about what's going to happen in episode eight and you yeah. know how that's all going to go down, which is like really cool to see in my comments. Yeah. I mean, literally all of everyone just wants to know, like you have all these different theories and some of the theories like Dominic was on Jimmy Fallon and he was like saying like some of the Reddit pages, it's just like, how do people come up with this stuff? Like, I, yeah. No, people are like super creative on these apps. Like, yeah, you all need to get into writing. <laughs> you know, I know, you need to talk to Sam. Are so creative, <laughs> get with Sam and write season three, you know? That's <laughs> so crazy. Um, and if you could change characters with anyone, who would you change with if you weren't you? Man, I would want to play a tough character, but Man, who would I change with? That'd, that'd be hard. Honestly, I'd probably just change with Fez at the end of the day because Angus, I like that role a lot. It's super chill and it's super gangster, so I, I like it. Because <laughs> me and him were like the two characters that stand out, and that's what I love so right. much about me and him. Yeah, for sure. And do you have any like, or do you have any inside jokes with him from behind the scenes? Like with Angus Cloud, is there like something that happened that you had to like redo a scene eighty million times, or you just have like a, maybe a handshake with him, or like something? Are you guys like close? Okay, so we did create a handshake, but I totally forgot what the handshake was. <laughs> One time he said ambience on set, yeah. and I just like I kept bringing it up, and it was so funny because he meant to say ambulance, but you know I was yeah, I would like do little things like that, like just to mess with him sometimes. So we you know we mess with each other. We're super we're super close on set because we have to have that bond to create right. that. Bond. Yeah. That's crazy. And do you, ha did you get any advice from any of the other characters in the show that are like, maybe they're just like, Hey, like you're do like, you're killing it. Like you're doing a great job or like just advice for your future, like acting gigs. Right. No doubt. You know, just watching Zendaya act has just made me a better actor in general. She is amazing at what she does. And when you see her in Dune, when you see her in Spider-Man, when you see her in all these projects she's worked on, she yeah. does a phenomenal job. And there's so much you can learn from actors like her, you know, yeah. so I've just really learned a good bit in just the acting space from her. For sure. And if you were watching as a fan, so you watch every Sunday, so you're not in the show, do you think you'd be Team Maddie or Team Cassie? I think I'd be Team Maddie. I yeah. think I would. Man. Yeah, I would be Team Maddie. I'd definitely yeah. be Team Maddie. At the end of the day, people are, yeah. you know, you know, thinking that way. And what is one of your favorite lines that you had in the show? Like what, like iconic, you think it's like Ashtray did it and you're like, wow. My favorite line was the the thing that kicked it all off when I was like I'm just trying to stack my cash pay off our mortgage so what the you want you know that whole thing that, that was like my favorite I love that so sick and if you could act like you have like obviously you have the whole boxing thing down the line is there like a certain role that you'd want to play like would you want to do like a crime movie you want to do like a boxing movie like what would a goal like acting project be for you Man, I would love to continue the Rocky franchise and be like the next Rocky or I would love to play like a superhero. I mean, even like right now, like Robin or something like that would be really, really cool. And then down the road, I would like to play like a super villain, like, um, man, like the Joker or something like that. Like, I would love that. So I'm interested in like the superhero, super villain stuff. And I love the Rocky franchise. So yeah. if I could be like the next Rocky or something, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe like a Marvel movie. That'd yeah, be yeah, yeah, Marvel. Movie, any of that. Superhero that boxes by day and is like superhero that boxes by day and is fighting crime at night. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> and it's is there anything that you made sure that you had set up on set with you? Like, did you have your boxing gloves with you? Did you get workouts in when you weren't filming? Like, what was? How do you do personal life on set? Right. So my dad is my trainer. So yeah. usually I'll you know when he is in LA with me on set. Yeah. Um, I always have my boxing gloves with me so I can train with him. So, yeah. you know, that's, that's definitely an essential for me. And, um, I have to run my schoolwork on set. So that's also an essential, not, you know, super <laughs> happy about that, but that's an essential at the end of the day. Cause I can't forget that. Yeah. How long was one of the longest scenes, scenes that you filmed? Was it like a couple of days, a couple of hours or your scenes are pretty quick? Most of the scenes can be pretty quick, but a scene that did take a minute was um the very last episode it was a lot of crazy like just craziness in general I mean it took three a good three days to film that oh and then the party scene that took like in general for everybody that took about a yeah. week 
Oh, I so bet. It, it, was, it was a lot. Was yeah. Definitely. Okay. So besides boxing, besides acting, if you're just chilling, like it's just like Sunday before euphoria comes on, like, what are you doing? Like, are you on like TikTok? Are you hanging out with your siblings? Like, what do you like to do for fun? I've been trying to limit my TikTok screen time. It's been getting really bad recently. Like, it's just like, I just keep scrolling and then I lose track of time and then I'm just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And that's, you know, I, I gotta I gotta get off TikTok as much. And I'm really just hanging out with my siblings and just spending a lot of family time with them, you know, playing basketball with my friends, driving around on my golf cart. I got I got a few things that I did. Yeah. Okay, one last question, then we're gonna play a game quick. But the last question is this was the most asked question by everybody Ooh. is would you date a fan? I mean, if it's the right person, yeah. If yeah. it's the right person. Love it. Okay, now for the game, okay? It's would you rather? So there's two scenarios and then you're gonna pick one, okay? Okay, cool. Sounds good. I'm ready. Okay, dress up or dress down. So oh, like sweats for okay. sure. Dress down? Dress down, because like when you dress up, like it takes so much work. Like, I don't want to, I don't have to piece everything together. I'm trying to wear some shorts and a jacket. I feel that. Okay. Uh, movies or TV shows? That's a tough one. Um, I'd probably say movies, because it doesn't take up as much time too, because when you get really addicted to a show, it's like, you're, sp you're spending so much time watching that. It's yeah. bad. Uh, and then you like get like connected to the characters and you're like, wait, how do I, why do I feel something? But you that? care too much about, you're like, why am I feeling this way about so-and-so? And it's yeah. like. Uh, stay up late or go to bed early. So you're not getting up at 6 a.m. for school. Right. You know, I have a problem going to bed at like 2, 3 a.m. and getting up at 6 a.m. So I go to bed late. Like, I'm just like, I'm way more productive late at night. Like I'll get so productive late at night, but during the day, like I'd rather sleep all day you know <laughs> like okay, on my yeah. weekends like I'd rather just like be chilling all day and then work at night yeah I feel that candy or ice cream hmm I'd probably say candy because hot smallies are pretty good <laughs> I was gonna say what's your favorite but I, I'm weird like I like mint chocolate chip ice cream like oh, and you're, like one an those. you're one of I those I can't help it I can't help it I'm just like I don't know and I can't eat chocolate chip cookies I can only eat oatmeal raisin I don't know why that's Something so random. I know. Okay. So random. Usually <laughs> that's not the most common, but. Yeah. For a 15 year old to like oatmeal raisin cookies, definitely not. Yeah. Like mint chocolate chip. <laughs> <laughs> um, acting or fighting? I can't choose. I love both <laughs> too much. They're both so amazing. I can't choose. Oh, you love it. Instagram or TikTok? Ooh, probably Instagram since that's where I started off. Yeah. FaceTime or voice call? You're going to no, FaceTime, FaceTime someone? Or... FaceTime, FaceTime, FaceTime. Voice calls are boring. Like, after, like, talking to somebody for a couple minutes on call, I'm just over it. Like, I'd rather FaceTime. Yeah, I feel that. You, like, if, okay, so scenario, you are just getting a random FaceTime. Do you pick it up or, like, if you're, like, if you're, like, oh, I'm not in the mood right now? Or do you always pick up your FaceTime calls? I don't pick them up usually. No, I'm pretty <laughs> You're like, I prefer FaceTime doesn't even pick even up. Even like on Snapchat, people are like, oh my God, why did you leave me on delivery for so long? I'm like, I don't know. I, <laughs> That's just what I do. Like, I'm not super responsive on my phone. I'm usually busy watching TikTok, you know? Yeah. Snapchat filters or Instagram filters, do you use them? Honestly, I would pick Snapchat because Snapchat did it first. Yeah. And Instagram did it like second, you know, so. What's your favorite Snapchat filter? Mm, I don't know <laughs> man shoot what, what is my favorite the baby face one was super funny for a while like, when was, like, <laughs> that one was baby, good that one was funny that one was good okay well biggest takeaway that you have from like right now in your life how like biggest takeaway of some like you've done in your life like you're like okay like I'm like how do you feel about your life right now pretty much like what's your biggest takeaway from euphoria boxing and everything really like I'm just blessed where I'm at and like where I'm just my situation in general I'm blessed that euphoria has done so good I'm really happy with how boxing is going right now and I'm healthy and I'm feeling good and my following my fans just overall I'm feeling great there's nothing to complain about so and I, I can't wait once again for everybody to see episode eight like that's that's gonna be crazy 